Michelle Friesen is one of 17 candidates running for Whitehorse City Council. But she's not your average politician. I'm the first Indigenous person to do so in almost 30 years. Friesen's family is from the Ton Quachan Council in Whitehorse. If elected, she'd be the first Indigenous person to serve on council since Ed Schultz in 1991, where he served one three-year term. Friesen says 30 years on, it's time for an Indigenous council member. Yeah, I think having diverse perspectives is really vital to any leadership, and I hope that I can bring that to city council. Friesen previously ran for the NDP for Whitehorse's Mountain View riding during the 2021 territorial election. She lost to Liberal incumbent Jeannie McLean, but she says the experience gave her the confidence to run for council. That was one of the things that really helped me um, in, in understanding where people saw those leadership qualities in me, and that made me feel more confident to step into this realm. The issues Friesen's focused on are affordable housing, accessibility, and climate change. I'm Michelle Friesen, and I'm running for Whitehorse City Council, so... With voters heading to the polls on Thursday, Friesen is wrapping up her campaign. She hopes running for council will inspire other Indigenous Yukoners to do the same in the future. <laughs> yeah, I hope that by stepping forward, I can encourage diversity in leadership and... Uh, inspire other women and Indigenous youth to see that we can and we should be in these spaces where decisions about our future is being made. Sarah Connors, APTN National News, Whitehorse.